Mike Cyrus with Lehigh Defense here with Bill Wilson. Bill's going to be shooting a SFX 9mm, 115 grain maximum expansion, a brand new bullet Bill's been working to develop and bring out. We're going to be shooting at in 10% ballistic gel. We're going to check on the penetration, expansion of that bullet. And uh, Bill, we'll get ready to go do that shot. Sounds good. Looks like we had 100% expansion. Oh yeah, looks looks just like it did in water, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> that consistent performance. We'll pull this tape up here. We got it stretched out. Uh, looks like we've got the uh, leading edge right around nine inches is what we just exactly what we want from this bullet. Uh, large expanding hollow point. Again, the first three pedal uh, maximum expansion bullet Lee's ever produced. And uh, I'm gonna reach in here and pull that out. How does it get any better than that? Looks good to me. Yeah, I don't, see, I don't see anything in the world wrong with that. That's, uh, the, the pedals have been down slightly, even past parallel. 100% uh, expansion, everything that you want out of a bullet. 100% weight retention, still weighs 115 grains. Uh, well, probably the largest expanding hollow point that's on the market right now. You know, it just does everything that you need a bullet to do. And look at the oh, the, wound cavity there. I mean, it's, it made a, it made a Pretty impressive. Uh, oh yeah, we are uh, on a six inch block. We're easily into over four inches in the width. When we look down into this block and we can see this, uh, the, the wound channel the, demonstrated by the, in the gel, it's just perfect. Yeah, and and uh, what we had looks like about an inch and, well, two inch, two inch penetration before it started expanding. So then, and the point being of that, that we get inside, we get inside mm -hmm. the tissue, we get deep enough uh, that it's not just going to immediately begin to upset on contact. Mm -hmm. uh, full two inches in, and then we begin, this bullet expands uh, to 100%. It's perfect. We're getting ready to shoot the new 9mm 115 grain control fracturing bullet. Uh, it's a new weight for Lehigh Defense. It's going to have a little heavier base, a little deeper penetration. Bill's been working to engineer design this bullet. Bill's going to be shooting that out of one of your SFX 9s, yep. 4 inch barrel. Yep. Should be about 1,100 feet per second. We got a 10% block of gel, 20 inches, where Bill's going to go back and take a shot at this, and we're going to come up here and see what it does. Pretty awesome performance, huh, Mike? Oh, it is. Again, we, we looked at the end of this gel block and we see these three petals come off and fracturing. We'll cover all aspects of this control fracturing, the nine millimeter, 115 grain. We've got a base straight line penetration, 16 and a half inches on the front of it. That's all, it, it's as good as it can get, deep penetration. The petals, we have one of them exited right here and they all absolutely we're completely a straight line where they exited, right in here. So the pedals exited right at five inches, still going. Uh, so again, in a, in, a, in a body or in a, whether you use a nine millimeter even to do some hunting with or self-defense, you're gonna get good solid penetration. Again, they exited the gel block at five inches. You know, keep in mind, that's not total penetration. Uh, the base out here, uh, like we already said, 16 inches, just absolutely ideal, 16 to 18 inches is what the FBI spec calls on something. Yep. 1,100 feet a second. I don't know how you get a more wicked nine millimeter bolt that has four wound channels, three big pedals, a deep penetrating base. This bolt will get everything done that you need to get done with the nine millimeter. Yeah, I've shot several hogs with this this bullet in this load here, yep. and I tell you what, they were they were all pretty impressed. <laughs> you know, I, some may, may rather in a uh, mountain type setting have a 44 or 357, but I'm telling you what, I usually carry a nine uh, everywhere I go, uh, and this this is what I want in my nine millimeter. That's what I carry every day. We're going to test the 9mm 90 grain XD. It's a product that's been in the Lehigh Defense lineup for quite a while. We're just going to make a, a good shot on the block and then look at that penetration for, uh, for comparison against the what we've done with the maximum expansion and control fracturing. Bill, you want to go ahead and take that shot for us in a minute? Sounds good.
Where are we at? Oh, good. Let's get the tape measure up here and see how we did. Good shot on the block, Bill. No, not very well, but at least it stayed in the block. <laughs> <laughs> I had, too much, I had too much rain on my on my glasses and it's too dark now. Jeez. We've had a bunch of rain. Yeah. All right. A lot of times what you'll see with these bullets is they'll they'll penetrate forward and then they'll get sucked back into it. So the forward penetration on this was 17 and a half inches uh, right there, maybe even almost 18. That's been typical of what the XD has always done for Lehigh Defense. Uh, 16 to 18 inches of penetration. Bill again shooting at from his uh, four inch SF X9. Uh, got good velocity. Uh, the bullet was just typical Lee out of fence loading. We're probably around 1,300, 1,325 feet per second. Good performance, you know. I think uh, it does what XDs have always done for us. You well, know what we've got here, Mike. You know we're doing this comparison today, and you know we've got three different nine millimeter bullets here that basically serve three different applications. Yes. You know we've we, you know, <clears throat> we've got the the original e extreme defense here that is great for any kind of barrier. I mean, absolutely. It, it doesn't matter if we're shooting through. A uh, windshield or a car door or you know drywall or denim or whatever it's not a the, you know it's, this bullet's not affected by that it, do, it doesn't affect it whatsoever and then we've got the you know the me the maximum expansion there that is is ideal when you need minimal penetration but a good turn good uh, terminal performance right and then we got the my favorite the control fracture that uh, you know you kind of got the best of both worlds you got a a pretty massive initial you know wound cavity there with with almost the penetration of the extreme defense so absolutely so Lehigh defense has got you covered from the the 90 xd that has been shown many times before and the good berry performance goes through everything bill's worked really hard developing the new three pedal again all new for Lehigh defense and an me three pedal maximum expansion a uh, little less penetration in there maybe about nine inch max full, full size gun uh, for those people that just really like an expanding hollow point and it's the best it's the best that i've seen the biggest and it's, it's just a dandy bullet bill and i do also like this uh, 115 control fracturing Lehigh defense has you covered whatever bullet whatever technology you like uh, go to Lehigh Defense, shop Lehigh Defense, uh, and we have you covered on 9mm ammunition uh, from a 90 to two different 115 grain bullets and some other products in the lineup as well. Right here what we've got is the uh, a block set up in front of a gel block. With the, we're going to shoot the 9mm 115 grain controlled fracturing. One of the concerns that our potential customers have with that, that it may fr uh, fragment prematurely or that it was just a frangible type bullet and that's not what a controlled fracturing bullet is at all. What I want to show people is it's not going to break apart. What I suspect may happen is it's just going to penetrate the 2 by 6 block and we're going to get good penetration. So that bullet can be counted on to defeat some barriers. Yeah, and I want to mention too that we just shot the control fracture in the other end of this one with no no barrier. Right. So so um, that, that's why that it's got some streaks in it right now. So we're shooting a fresh end of the fresh end of the gel block here. Well, what we had before uh, was the 16, 16 inches penetration from the base, and now Bill just shot through a 2 by 6 block, and now we've got 14 and 3 quarter, almost 15. We only lost what a, a little over an inch of penetration, and the bullet absolutely, I'll pull it out, the bullet absolutely worked beautiful. But I've always thought that these control fracturing was just as good a bolt as you could possibly get. Right. And uh, builds up the weight of this from the original 105 to the 115. And then when we've done that, we're getting good upset, we're getting good penetration. Bill's pulling another pedal out right here, it's right here. Yeah, yeah. absolutely beautiful yeah. upset. We got retained two pedals and the other one looks like exited there. What do you think now? He still didn't, didn't I, listen to your opinion any, did I it? knew what it was going to do. <laughs> <laughs> this is our new 9mm, 115 grain control fracturing loaded round of ammo. Bill's going to be shooting this through a four layers of denim into the ballistics gel. We're going to show that this bullet doesn't plug. We're still going to get good penetration out of this base. The pedals are going to fracture. Uh, as Bill keeps pointing out, just like they do in water, uh, we get the solid performance even going through denim into our gel. Bill's going to back up and take that shot for us now. Okay, sounds good, Mike. We 
had the four layers of denim up here. As we saw, we shot through four layers of denim. Beautiful expansion as we're looking down. Bill and I can see everything that's going on here. Uh, right now, as you can see, a pedal that is right here. I'm going to say right at four and a half, four and three quarters of inch. So perfect on the pedal. The base sitting right down here, 15 inches. After even going through four layers of thick denim, right on the front of this ballistic gel, all three pedals fractured, beautiful. We have a penetrating base that's right down here. So you're getting the good penetration from this base like we continually say that it does. Here's that base. Look at the denim right on the tip of this bullet. So you can see that that denim entered that hollow cavity, that controlled fracturing, had zero effect on had it. Zero it? effect on it. Right. And, you, and you'll notice too, just like the when we sh did this test the last time in, up in Arkansas at the company, right. the the bullet actually performed better after shooting through four layers of denim than it did <laughs> shooting into the, to the bare block. Now, you can't say that about many products, can you? <laughs> no, uh, that, that's an excellent hollow point. And you've got, a, you've got a bullet to get it in. And you know, one of the things we keep on, we, we don't sometimes point out, but again, you're getting four wound channels from a control fracturing. Yeah. You're getting this deep penetrating base, full 355 wad cutter performance. Now you're getting these three nice pedals coming off this thing. Uh, it's the best of everything and then and feel that base. It's it's you know very sharp on the on the edges of that wood cutter base It's a sharp Sharp edge wood cutter base not not yeah. like the old lead stuff that you and I might have grown up with on those those uh, rounded edge wood mm -hmm. cutters. Yep. Yeah We're going to test the new nine millimeter 115 grain maximum expansion bullet the ME we call it uh, Bill Wilson been working developing that bullet. We're going to shoot three shots into a water tank. It's got about an inch, just a, a thin uh, compressed mill bladder there. We're going to shoot, shoot it into the tank and see what we get. The good consistent performance. Hey. Ready? Yep. Before we slide this back, I'm going to tell you what I think we're going to see. Beautiful expander. There's not going to be any pedals. It's just going to be a beautiful maximum expansion bullet. They're going to be expanded perfectly. Uh, what we get, consistent performance. One of the things that we're doing here with Lee Out of Fence, consistently testing these bullets across different barriers, different water media, hogs, and gel to make sure we get that consistent performance. We're going to have a beautiful 115 expanded bullet. Here's what we get. We'll hold those still. We'll look at how all three of these pedals have expanded completely 90 degrees out from the base. They're all identical. And obviously they're all 115 grains at this point. And then if you, as you see how large this expansion is, Bill's measured these, these are right around about an inch of expansion, aren't they? Just a, maybe even a little bit over an inch of expansion. It's a 355 base, then you've got about a, a half inch pedal sticking out on both sides. Also, I want to bring out that this is the first three pedal maximum expansion bullet that Lehigh's ever made. And it's this three pedal that he's focused on, you know, finally finalized on for the production bullet for our customers. This is performance you can count on. We're testing the 115. Maximum expansion, we're going to shoot in some water bags that are 4 mil thick, 52 inches of depth. It's a 9 millimeter, 115, maximum expansion. Bill's going to pull the trigger for us, so we're going to see what we get. We should have that good, consistent performance we're looking for. Okay. Didn't touch the second bag. These bags are what, probably 16 inches, 15 inches thick? Well, they're a third of 52, whatever, whatever third the hell 52 is. Third of 52 as well, yeah. <laughs> we just recovered the bullet out of there. Identical to the three that we pulled out after shooting through the foam bladder. Took a lot of work and a lot of perfection to get this bullet to this shape, didn't it, Bill? Yeah, and this, as you can see, Mike, this is an excellent bullet for somebody that lives in an urban area, whatever, where they're concerned about over penetration. You know, it's not gonna shoot through a person and, the, and two Absolutely. more walls and into the next house. You know, it's probably gonna stop in, in most adversaries. 
Absolutely. That's what that's what we're in. Lee out of fence builds a lot of different bullets. A lot of these will we've got every bullet to meet these bullet needs. This is the new maximum expansion. Three pedal, all new design. Uh, under Bill's ownership. Really, really happy, really proud of this bullet. Looks yeah. good, buddy. I'm gonna shoot three rounds of the new nine millimeter 115 grain control fracturing into the water tank that's got the foam bladder up front. Bill's gonna put three shots in there really quick and then we're gonna go up there and look at that and we'll, I can just tell you what we're gonna see. I'm that confident. We're gonna see uh, nine pedals and three bases. Go ahead, Bill. All right, up front, right between this section, right in here where I've got my hands, this is where most of these pedals are. So we're right in here, right around the foot, maybe 14 inches. Uh, if you can spin, you can see all these pedals that are fractured off, laying right into the bottom of this tank. What I'd like to show, if you can get over here, is now we've got all these bases that are all on the very back side. So we've have it when this control fracturing comes through, has that water, that hydraulic effect, it sheds these. She has the three pedals up front, but look how deep these, this base penetration is in this water tank. Yep. It'll get the job done, won't it? Yeah, tank's 48 inches deep. So we're there, what, 38 inches or so on the average on the bases and yep. probably about here and pull an average out. eight or nine on the pedals. Pretty consistent. Also, I do want to point out a feature when we design and make these manufacturers bullets, look right down into the tip of this bullet and when you zoom in or close on it, you can see this is actually where that drill stops, that indentation is in the bottom. And then I want you to also zoom in on this outside edge, just flatten down just a little bit. You see all these three corners? Basically what happens is that when those pedals begin to fracture, they begin to open up a little bit. The heel of that pedal hits on the outside of these bases. And that's actually what drives these pedals off. So they're not just falling in behind this bullet. They're actually getting a good kick to the outside. And this is what makes this such a tremendous turtle performance bullet. Uh, you get these pedals that really have a lot of energy coming off there. They're not just falling off coming in behind. I'll reach in here now and pull out some pedals. So you're going to get four wound channels every pull of the trigger with this, with this new 9 millimeter 115 grain control fracture. Again, all three of these bullets, all all nine pedals. If I've got them all, here's one hiding on me. One there. Yep. All consistent. Yeah, you see, they're they're basically all the same size and same shape and same weight. If I had a scale out here, I could pick any pay, base up and put any three pedals with it, and it'd weigh 115 grains. It'd be real close. <laughs> and then, that's kind of what we call control, isn't it? Shooting the nine millimeter. 115, 115 grain control fracturing bullet to the, through the four mil bags, 52 inches we described earlier with the ME. What we're gonna see here is three, gonna have these uh, three pedals that are gonna fracture off a nice deep penetrating base. After Bill takes a shot, we'll walk up there and let's we'll take a look at it. All right, we're here in his first bag. And that bullet pipe went in through, began to do the control fracturing. The reason we named that bullet that, and the word control is in there for a reason. The way that we design and engineer and design these bullets or manufacture them, these, pull, these two pedals are identical in width, identical in length. And there's going to be a third one. Once right, I here. Put, right here it is. So all three of these, I'll lay them out here, kind of how what happens is it kind of goes through these bags in more of a triangular fashion. So you see, the control part is how controlled the manufacturing is on this and how, how these pedals are shaped and formed. They're identical in length and width and weight. Now I'm going to reach in here and I'm going to find a base where these three pedals fractured off of. I'm going to set that right in the middle of this. You're going to get a nice, larger than diameter shank, larger than 355. And that base, that base, when I, I'm, going to go, I'm going to guess that that's in almost uh, 25 inches or so in the, water, in the water bags or the four mil bags. And that is the typical performance that we'll get from a controlled fracture. That's what you like, isn't it? That's my favorite carry bullet right there, that's, you know. Of course, I don't live in an urban area. I live on a on a on a remote <laughs> ranch, and and you know I I shoot a lot of these, but they're 
they're a, a game. Right. So. I'd, I'd trust that, that 115 CF is a really good bullet. You get these three pedals going out, poking all the holes and letting the air out of things. And yep. Then you got that deep penetrating base. I just don't think there's anything that's not good about this bullet. I, I love the control fracture. I do too. Yeah, what we're doing here, guys, this is kind of the final test, you know, after we've tested in the tank, we've tested in water bags, we've tested in gel. You know, we consider the ultimate test of a bullet as to what it does in, in actual tissue. And uh, we'll try to recover at least two to three of these five shots here. You know, we're going to do a complete autopsy. Right. Uh, and if one of them hits, hits a big bone and, and it's really deformed, it, you know, that kind of shows you, will show you what it does when it hits bone. Uh, you can't expect it to perform exactly like it did in gel and water. So let's go put some shots in it and see what we got, Mike. All right, let's do it. Bill took five shots, nine millimeter, 115 maximum expansion in the neck. Uh, then what he did was he took five shots with the 115, the control fracturing behind the shoulder. Uh, that base penetrates a little bit deeper. Any of the bullets that didn't hit, you know, really large bones, okay. I expect the results to be the same thing that we saw in water and gel. Okay. Uh, we're going to have Elvin and Dale come up here now and, and do a little autopsy on this hog and see if we can't recover at least two or three of each of the bullet types. Show that consistency, what we've, what we've already proven concept, right? Yeah, it's kind of, this is kind of like the final test here. We've recovered these bullets from the hog that we just shot, for, uh, Bill shot uh, from the ME to the CF. And then we got a little, uh, little other information over here on the left side in front of Bill. Uh, after we've recovered these bullets and pulled them out, washed them all off, I'm going to let Bill explain a little bit of what we're, what we're looking at here. Okay. What we got here, Mike, we recovered three of the pedals from the uh, 300 Hammer 125 extreme chaos that actually killed the hog. Okay. You know, the base had fully penetrated the, the neck of the hog, but there's three of the four pedals that you get from the, the extreme chaos right. that actually killed the hog. And then we recovered uh, three of the control fractures that, that we shot into the neck. Right. You know, um, and then we didn't recover any any of the, the pedals because I mean, it was taking long enough to get all this other stuff out there. We don't want to, you know, make this video two hours long. Right. Um, but, you know, when you see the base like this, you know that the, that, that the pedal shed off, you know. They, 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 had, to go, they had to go somewhere. Yeah, and, and then we recovered three of the uh, maximum expansions here. Uh, this one hit, hit some pretty big bone. We actually, it actually knocked a pedal off that was pretty close to it there. And we got full expansion on the other ones. And uh, I measured one of these a while ago, and, and it measured 870 thousandths across the two widest points. Wow. You know, wow. but wow. if you actually drew a circle around that, it might actually be even larger than that, but, uh, you know, because it's spinning. Right. Um, but anyway, just, just measuring it across from two to one there, pedals, you know, it's 870 thousandths. That's pretty good expansion from uh, starting out at, at, at 355 there, isn't it, Mike? That's, com that's impressive, you know, being even what we used to uh, when I was a young guy looking at any bullet that expanded one and a half and then, you know, the best in the business only may possibly expanded twice diameter, which would be around mm -hmm. 710, 355 if my math's about right. And uh, and now here you're at, what, 870? That's uh, un unheard of. Mm -hmm. uh, the the pedals are even bent down towards the base. In other words, uh, slightly even what we would consider even past full full diameter, you know, full expansion. You know, they're even bent down. They're supported a little bit. Uh, we said one, but again, man, you know, who doesn't know that a hog's a tough animal? Big 180 pound hog, uh, unbelievable. Went through the hide and hit all that tough muscle. Uh, the one that it shed the pedal that was into the shoulder, really, really cool. The bases found on the offside, uh, deep penetration from these 115 control fracturing bases. And then as Bill pointed out, <clears throat> the excellent 125 extreme chaos from his 300 hammer uh, did the damage. That's the reason, because this bullet did its job, that's how come we're able to do this in the hog cadaver, right? Yep, the uh, uh, maximum expansion here, they, they were uh, a little bit past center line on the, on the neck. So, oh, wow. so we, you know, we got the same kind of controlled expansion that we got in water and gel, stuff like that. And the, the bases of, of the control fracture, these were all under the skin on the far side, shooting it behind the shoulder. Yeah. So that's some pretty serious penetration on the, on the bases of the control fracture there.
Yeah, if, it, if it'll do that on a tough big hog like that, I mean, as far as in a self-defense or any, you know, even as a, a good outdoorsman type bullet, you know, that CF is it, like what we've been saying. It's a, it's a good it's a good bullet, good bullet. A little less penetration, good expansion, good self-defense bullet. If it's a you know in, in a home or a crowded type of area, uh, I think the the 115 ME is probably a good way to go. Mm -hmm. uh, if I'm out here on your ranch or doing a hike in the woods, uh, you know, I'd, I'd probably go with the uh, CF and then. Oh, as always on a on a rifle, I like the the 300 hammer with uh, with some of the 125 grain bullets that we've got going on Lee Lehigh Defense. So. Yeah, but the but the one big takeaway to close this thing out is you know we've we've shot these bullets in you know a water tank, we've shot them in the four mil water bags, we've shot them in the, in the gel, and now we shot them into actual tissue, and as as you can see, the the results are basically the same. I'd say a identical. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but Bill, thank you. Thank you for putting you. so much so much effort into making sure that uh, these products are consistent, they're reliable, it's repeatable, uh, and just going through, like I said, probably some of the best, the most extensive tests uh, that I've seen as long as I've been in this industry for over 15 years. So thank you very, very much for uh, for what you're, uh, what I'm going to be able to use, and what everybody else out there is being able to use. Mike, it's been a heck of three days. We've been filming Lehigh defense uh, video there for three days. We went through rain, hail storms, thunderstorms, and today, it, today it's so hot, it's like we're out in a sauna. <laughs> we're, we're still wet today. We don't have the rain and hail and the sleet, right? Exactly. We've had a, as Bill said, we've had a had a had a rough go with the weather being cooperative with us. Uh, the cooperative part of all was the bullets, right? The bullets did yeah. exactly what they were supposed to be doing. The uh, the nine millimeter, the new 115s, that was the first time Lee out of fence has ever done these 115s in a controlled fracturing. The new maximum expansion, a, we've always done, a, we've never done a 115 in that weight, a, a common nine millimeter weight. Uh, and we've always done a four pedal. So this was the very first, the, the largest expanding nine millimeter bullet that I, I really think it's the largest expanding on the market period. And uh, we've tried to do a good job, you know, doing this testing and setting it up uh, two different, Two different ways to test it in water. Then we ran it over to the ballistics gel, 10% ballistics gel, uh, and then the final test was something as hog as everybody knows about the tenacity, how tough a hog hide is, mm -hmm. and uh, and the muscle and the tissue and the depth of these big 180, 200 pound hogs that we tested. And uh, I don't think I, I don't know what else we could do to prove, you know, how good these bullets are. I think we pretty much covered all the bases of showing what they're capable of doing. Anybody else has any ideas on how, what other tests that they think that we somehow uh, mis misrepresented the product? I'd sure like to know what that is because I, in my opinion, I think we've covered it pretty well, but I'd like to hear what the viewers out there. Uh, please subscribe, leave us a comment, leave us what also what you'd like to see. And as always, uh, Wilson Combat, Lehigh Defense, uh, we think we have the best customers in the business. Uh, they just keep coming to us and we're very thankful for them and we keep trying to have out uh, the best bullets, the best ammunition, the best Wilson Combat firearms uh, in the industry. And uh, we're, we're very, very thankful for our, for our customer family and our customer base. And be sure and hit that notification bell so you'll know when we have new content coming out and we'll see you downrange.